So, another interesting oil story for you today. Castor oil. Do you remember it from your grandparents' days or hearing about it? It's kind of making a comeback, a resurgence of use. In fact, I recommend it in my practice to almost every woman that walks through the door. Um, castor oil and castor oil packs that we actually wear on our body are a legendary practice that dates back to ancient times, traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic Indian, ancient Egyptians even used castor oil. They all use them for fuel and for healing. And in fact, um, the castor bean plant has been given the special name of the Palm of Christ, as castor oil is actually mentioned as an anointing oil in the Bible. And that association with Christ comes from the mention of the plant in the Old Testament book of Jonah, chapter 4, 6 through 10. A plant that was variously translated as a vine or gourd that grew up very quickly to give shade to Jonah. Uh, in Hebrew, it's called kakayan or castor oil plant, and it plays a central role in that story of Jonah. Um, Castor oil is a multi-purpose vegetable oil. We can think of, I, I, I wouldn't use the word vegetable, I would think I would probably call it a seed oil that's been used for thousands of years. And we get the oil by extracting it from the seeds of the ricinus communis plant. Um, the seeds, known as castor beans, contain a very, very toxic enzyme called ricin. You've probably heard of ricin as a poison. Um, but the heating process that we would go through to extract the oil uh, deviates the, uh, deactivates rather the ricin and um, allows it to be used safely. It's been used in a number of medicinal, industrial, pharmaceutical uses. It's commonly used as food additive, medicines, skin care. Uh, in ancient e Egypt, people actually used the castor oil as fuel in their lamps. And we've heard that before, how a lot of these seed oils started out as fuel. There are a lot of potential benefits of using castor oil, um, skin, hair, digestive, detox. We're gonna talk about a couple of those. One of the best known medicinal uses of castor oil was as a, as a laxative. <clears throat> I think I kind of remember grandparents saying, give the kid a teaspoon of castor oil. <laughs> It was almost as punishment more than anything. It's classified as a stimulative <coughs> laxative, meaning it increases the movements of the muscles of the colon and helping clear the bowels. And it is per approved, excuse me. <clears throat> it is approved by the FDA as a stimulative laxative. They act rapidly and are commonly used to relieve temporary constipation or clean out the bowels before like a colonoscopy. Um, when you take the castor oil by mouth, it's broken down in the small intestine, releasing the ricinoleic acid. Ricinoleic acid, that's the key ingredient, stimulating a very strong laxative effect. Um, however, we do want to be very, very careful <clears throat> because it's considered safe in very small doses. Larger amounts can cause cramping, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. And I am in no way recommending that you do this. I'm not your doctor. Ask your practitioner. But it has been used historically to relieve temporary constipation. Always get a healthcare professional uh, recommendation before trying any of these. Castor oil also supports <clears throat> your lymphatic system, um, playing a critical role in fighting against infections. Uh, when your lymphatic system is clogged, much like your hair-filled shower drain, your body can't cleanse properly, and you might feel lethargic because your body fluids aren't, are unbalanced. It means you could be full of too much harmful bacteria. So where does castor oil come into play? This way. Well, like all fatty acids, the one in this oil works to increase our lymph flow uh, throughout the body, eliminating toxins and reducing our swollen lymph nodes. We're lymph nodes on our throat, on our armpits, around our breasts, behind our knees, in our groin area. The, when you use a castor oil in a pack, 
like a, a wolf cotton flannel and you put the oil on it and you put it on the body part, then compression over your liver or other areas um, combined with some movement like deep breathing acts like a pump on your lymphatic system and can help um, stimulate and encourage lymphatic drainage. You could also complement a lymphatic drainage castor oil pack with a dry skin brush prior to using the castor oil pack. I love dry skin brushing. Helps reduce inflammation in the body, increases circulation, and engages your lymphatic system. Now, it's actually considered an anti-aging tool. We knew we'd get around to that. Castor oil is rich in the fatty acids 6 and 9 and polyphenols like quercetin. The nutrients all have anti-aging properties that can reduce wrinkles, dark circles, puffiness under the eyes. You can use a castor oil eye compress at night as a vehicle for the castor oil to work its magic. Um, bonus tip, you can use castor oil as an eye makeup remover and a gentle moisturizer. That ricinoleic acid is a monosaturated fatty acid and these types of fats can moisturize the skin. Castor oil is used in a lot of cosmetics um, as a hydration, attracting moisture. Um, manufacturers often add it to lotions, makeups, and cleansers. You could use it uh, alone, and I will tell you that I have been playing with using castor oil along here, and I had some bruising from some vein treatments I'm getting done, and I've been putting the castor oil on the bruises, um, swapping out your conventional skincare for cleaner skincare or something that has castor oil is really good for you. Um, it is thick and it can get you know into clothing and sheets and things so you have to be careful with that and a lot of people sometimes cut it with olive oil or coconut oil. Um, using pure castor oil on the skin can irritate some people's skin. It, you would get a really dark, itchy, harsh red rash if that's the case. In the case of when it's being used as a detox, a detoxifying stimulant, very often you can get a rash under the site, which is actually your body releasing toxins, and you, you kind of get to get over that. A lot of the uh, the company that I support that I adore is the Queen of the Thrones, and she's on Instagram. She's showing every day how she rubs her belly fat. It burns belly fat, helps eliminate stretch marks, um, gets rid of saggy skin. Here's one that has been around for quite some time. Castor oil can thicken your eyebrows and your eyelashes. I have had some men, anecdotally in our nutritional world, say that they put it on their scalp with a shower cap and then wash their hair in the morning and it's thickening their hair. So, <laughs> castor oil and that triglyceride fatty acid is antibacterial and antimicrobial. So it shows that it can prevent inflammation, infection, um, improve localized blood flow, and help shed damaged skin cells, all of which helps the healing process. Now, we don't necessarily want to just stick castor oil on a wound. That's not healthy. There are a lot of ointments um, in clinical settings. Called There's one called Ventilex, which contains a mixture of castor oil uh, Peru balsam and a balm, that's a balm derived from the balsam tree. It's used as a wound dressing and it can help with pressure ulcers, diabetic ulcers, burns, surgical wounds. So that would be Venilex, which is a little bit of castor oil and some balm. It has been shown to reduce odors, protect wounds, create that good environment for healing. Um, Ricinoleic acid that we talked about is anti-inflammatory and has pain reducing properties. So I'm hoping that with my bruising that would help with the pain that I've experienced. Um, in 2013 there was a case study treatment with a spray that had this balsam of Peru uh, castor oil and an enzyme called trypsin and it was used on an 80 year old one year old man who had a huge abdominal surgical wound that wasn't healing and it was Fabulous. Um, castor oil does naturally manage inflammation. So if, if it's naturally anti-inflammatory for our bowels, it can also be anti-inflammatory in itself. 
How does this work? Well, castor oil stimulates the smooth muscles of the digestive tract as well as the uterus. And for those of us that are still menstruating, I'm not, but you remember how cramping you were leading up to your, your cycle, your period, or you might be very crampy during your cycle? I usually recommend a, a week before having some magnesium every night to relax the uterus, but castor oil pack over your abdomen, over your uterus, can stimulate and relax those smooth muscles from cramping. So um, again, anti-inflammatory, anti-pain, it's that wonderful ricinolinic acid that works and penetrating in your skin. Uh, the Queen of Thrones also has packs for tying on your neck. If you've got neck pain, thyroid, uh, eye compresses, you can put the packs over, perhaps you have arthritic knees. Castor oil there is again, very anti-inflammatory. Uh, it also helps um, calm your entire system and release the you know, feel-good hormone, oxytocin. Oxytocin lowers your cholesterol, balances your blood pressure, and leading to healthy levels of progesterone. Why does this matter? Well, there's a study and a connection between high anxiety and high progesterone. So we want to balance this all out. You know, with all practices, in my practice, it's important that you get the right ingredients. So that's why I'm particular about the supplements that we take. The ingredients have to be real and not synthetic, third-party tested, etc. Well, the same thing applies to castor oil. And because it's becoming so popular right now, there's some, a lot of counterfeit, unfortunately, uh, castor oil packs being sold on um, Amazon and other places. So you want to make sure you're putting a quality product, just like I would not let you consume olive oil that's light colored and comes out of a plastic bottle. Castor oil has to be 100% pure, organic, cold pressed and extra virgin and bottled in glass, dark glass. Does that sound familiar? This is the way we treat all our oils. Your checklist also for it has to be either organic cotton, wool, or linen touching your skin. No synthetic blends, no bamboo, nothing else. Um, no buttons or belts. It has to just have a nice little tie on. So castor oil is a tried and true self-care tool. Been around since biblical times. It uh, has anti-aging properties for health and beauty, medicinal properties, and I would encourage you to visit uh, the link that I will put below this video for the Queen of Thrones and check it out and see if perhaps you've got some pain, inflammation. Uh, highly recommend this as a post-chemotherapy treatment to help the body release and get rid of the dead cancer cells. It's a fabulous detoxification tool. And I'm just so happy to have castor oil in my toolkit.